Hey everybody, have you wondered how you can use memes in your music marketing strategy? Well, today I'm going to share a few suggestions with you that may be able to help you along your path while you're marketing your music using memes. Find out how and next coming up on the Music Money Makeover Show. What is going on everybody? My name is Casey Graham. Welcome back to the Music Money Makeover Show. As usual, for you all who are new and those who are always coming back, you know you can download my uh, profit maximization checklist right down below and the musician's guide to self publishing uh, right down below as well. And look, if you haven't noticed yet, the links have changed because I've been moving everything on my website to musicmoneymakeover.com. So on the site, you can download the materials. You can see every single video so you don't have to go to my YouTube playlist. You can book a call with me and contact me on the site and there will be more things coming. Yes, I said I was working on those courses because I said, you know what, let's expand this a little bit more, more than these YouTube videos. Let's dig into it. Uh, into the music industry a little bit more. So I will have courses and other things available on this site coming in the near, near future. Now, let's jump into how we're gonna use these memes in our music marketing strategy. All right, so check it out. Look, if you're gonna use a meme in your marketing strategy, chances are you're doing one of two things, right? You're trying to inject new life into the songs you already got, right? Or you're trying to extend the life of the songs that are already released. And memes are a great way to do this, all right? So what are we looking for? How are we gonna do this? Who are we gonna use to write it? And all this. So if we determine our goal, we're either, like I said, you're either gonna inject new life into something or you're going to extend the life or you're just releasing something. That will be classified as the new life, injecting new life into something, bringing it forward. Now, the next thing we wanna look at is, okay, well, if I'm not funny myself and I don't have much personality on camera, how can I create these memes without physically using myself? Because as an artist, I have to, you know, do other things pertaining to being an artist, where it, whether it's creating content to showcase how I make my music, how I write, my writing process, or from a producer making beat videos and all this stuff like that, so I'm probably gonna need a meme writer. Well, what do you find one of these meme writers, right? Well, I suggest one of your friends, I'll start here at a friend first, a friend that you know always sends you memes of the stupid stupidity they watch online all the time, right? Now, I may seem dumb to you, but that actually has value because this friend right here will know exactly how to create a meme, right? Because they watch so many of them, they will know the punchlines and the key points within these videos that will work for you and your music. So if you have a friend like that, great. If you don't, I suggest you probably find a meme writer from a micro influencer page. And as you've seen in the past in my videos, I talk about micro influencers being from the level of anywhere from 3,000 to 10,000 followers, excuse me, 10,000 followers on Instagram or TikTok, right? And we're gonna use, utilize, you know, the platforms within Instagram and TikTok to get these memes off, all right? So now we gotta pick a song from our repertoire. What we're looking for is a song that has key points in it that's that, that will be infectious, right? Maybe an infectious melody, a line, or something another along the lines of that, all right? And so uh, to give you an example of what I'm talking about, um, one of my favorite memes comes from a, a group that uh, has a song called, uh, give me one second. So one of my favorite memes that I like, it's, it's, I don't know the name of the song, but I'll put it right here in the edit, okay? So the song goes like, dun, 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 right? I love that meme, okay? And that meme might be one of the more famous ones that have been out there. There's a lot of, a lot of new ones. Like I think it's one called the Stank Walk or something like that, that a lot of women have been doing where they walk in and then they walk out, depending on, let's say they, they walk in with great expectations and they walk back out. But these songs have shot through the roof, right? I had someone call me, book a call with me last week, expressing that, hey, Casey, look, we got to get this stuff together because we had a song go viral and we, we didn't know what to do with it. Like we have to take care of the registration. So I'm telling you that, you know, coming out of that call, I'm just giving you inspiration that you can produce new life and inject new life into the songs that you already have. Okay, so key parts of the song are what make it go viral. It has to be infectious 
And then the punchline and the meme has to be infectious at the same exact time that the song is like, oh my God, this is the greatest like point right here. Like this is gonna happen, this is it, all right? So now it's called propaganda. So I'm gonna put that road word right there. It's propaganda and we have to think of ourselves as marketers. So we're gonna feed this system however we're gonna feed it, whether it be TikTok or Instagram, which to me, is really the best platforms for this, okay? And then we're gonna constantly feed these memes in, create them, feed them. Whether we create different pages and then we put the same exact content out, maybe you do it over three pages and then you put in the meme maybe three pages, three times a day, three times a week, right? And you feed the system, the meme, over and over and over and over and over again, right? Until people pick it up on the hashtags. I'm just straight up giving you an example of how to do it, all right? so. Maybe we use the TikTok one. TikTok is a very great means of getting memes out there, all right? Because TikTok pays royalties. Now, Instagram is not too far behind with paying royalties, but we haven't found out if they will pay royalties based on memes on the Instagram Reels section of the app. We know that they will pay royalties on the stories as long as you use the song, but we know for sure that TikTok will pay royalties because on the bottom, you see that song streaming, the original audio, blah, 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 right? So TikTok will do that, okay? So that's great. So we know we can make money directly from the platform. Secondly, this is gonna bring people directly back to Spotify and Apple Music to find our songs or YouTube to find our songs, and they will play it from there. All right, so this song that I'm talking about that I quoted earlier, I remember seeing this song and it had something like 2 million views when it went viral, okay? So after the 2 million views when it went viral, I checked back recently, two days ago before I did this video, and it had 238 million plays after it went viral two years ago. Okay, you understand what I'm saying? So that is how you can inject new life into a song and then extend the life of a song. Now this song came out in 2011, but it went viral in 2018 off of the smarts of the publisher, publishers and the record label owners of those songs, okay? So I want you to understand that we gotta, we gotta come in and we gotta utilize, repurpose, repackage, remix our audio, our songs, our compositions because they're never old. They're never old. Like you can always reuse this stuff. Nothing is dead. Turn it, recycle it, do it again, right? And so that's the power of the meme and the marketing uh, plan that you may have for an album coming out or something that's really old, okay? So I don't want you to throw away songs and say, oh, that was old. No, nah, the internet makes everything, it gives everything a level playing field, all right? If it gave people in the music industry a level playing field for age, it will now give a level playing field for old songs, okay? So now, Let's talk about our, our viral aspect versus our long tail aspect. Now, a viral aspect of this song will be initial hit. Bam, it comes out and it's up here. And then the long tail will be down here. So the viral versus the long tail is like this, all right? So we get our viral, it hits, and we have all of these plays initially, and then it will depreciate. For those of you all who are kind of into real estate, you might know what depreciation is. It's just simply the value of it goes down over time. But instead of it going from here all the way down to zero, it will never hit zero because of it's how hard it hit in the beginning when it went viral, it will just come back down to here. So zero would be here, but it will always be right here, coasting steady. People will always remember this song, so they will come back to it and it has the potential to go viral again. If say something happens in the universe or in the world where, oh my God, that meme that came, remember that meme that came out two years ago? This will be perfect. For this right here, let's do it again and it'll go back up viral again. So you gotta understand that this is how things can happen. For example, here is a residual meme, all right? Swayed the remix god. Beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes with, with Shirley Caesar, the gospel singer, right? Comes out, has an initial bang the first, the first year, and like two weeks after it comes out, you have an, an artist in Atlanta by the name of Gray who does the vegan version. All right, so we have initial bang. You know, we have another one who, who does a remix. And then every year, that wave comes back. You gotta hear that. That's the, that's an official, that's the official Thanksgiving song. Every year, the wave is coming back every year and you can't, you can't get that song out of your head. So I want you all to think about the power of using the meme 
in your marketing strategy when you're putting music out there. Anyway, make sure you download the Profit Maximization Checklist and the Musician's Guide to Self-Publishing right down below on the new website, musicmoneymakeover.com. You can sign up and sign in, log into the account to be, uh, the website to become a member. And then you can also see all the other stuff on the site. You can contact me there and you can book a call with me on the site, all right? The schedule is there, the calendar is there. You know, click book a call and yeah, hey, we'll be right on it. Anyway, I'll see you all next week right here on the Music Money Makeover Show. Peace. Peace.